Dean of the School of Law at Washington University, Rodney Small. Justice Thomas, I have the uh, honor of concluding the evening by bestowing an honor upon you. And as you can tell from the reaction, we were all moved by the substance of your remarks. But we cannot help but also be moved by the symbolic importance of your presence here tonight. Here you are, an African American Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, who has proven over 18 years to be a justice of extraordinary intellectual honesty and fierce independence, so that you have earned the respect not only of those who agree with your jurisprudence, but those who disagree with it. For your consistency, for your clarity, for your sincerity, and for your constancy of fidelity to the principles that you embrace. And for you to be here tonight speaking to us in this chapel, consecrated to the memory of Robert E. Lee, and speaking to us about the life and enduring values and gift to this nation and to the people of the world of Abraham Lincoln is a powerful combination, not only of ideas, but of symbols. As an Illinois boy myself, to think about these, I turn to one of my favorite American prairie poets, Carl Sandburg, who was, of course, himself an idolizer of Abraham Lincoln. And Justice Thomas, I want to share with you just a few words from Sandberg's book in which he describes a poignant moment involving one of the generals of the Confederacy. Sandberg writes, one of the great Confederate combat leaders, General John B. Gordon, had sat at his horse and spoken farewell to his men. Some he had seen weeping as they folded burnt and shock-pierced battle flags and laid them on the stacked arms of surrender. As he told his troops his own grief, he tried to give them hope to rebuild out of the poverty and ashes to which many would return. Gordon would never forget a Kentucky father who lost two sons, one dying for the North, the other for the South. Over the two graves of his soldier boys, the father set up a joint monument inscribed, God knows which was right. Justice Thomas, I hope that God will look with mercy on the struggles we still have as a nation. I know he must look with some kindness on the blessing of your service to this country. And I have the honor of bestowing on you a symbol that is very, very special to us at Washington and Lee. It's a walking stick, your honor, that we give to every graduate of our law school on the day of graduation. And we give it to them as a tangible symbol of our faith in the highest traditions of the practice of law and in the hope that as they go through life's journey, some piece of us will remain with them and some piece of those values will remain with them. We rarely bestow it on guests. The last person we gave one of our walking sticks to was the Lord Chief Justice of England and Wales, who was here as our commencement speaker recently and is the new Supreme Court Chief Justice of the new Supreme Court in the United Kingdom. And I heard just a couple of days ago that he's placed it in his chambers. Wherever you choose to place this as you go around the country watching Nebraska, <laughs> we hope that you'll accept it as a token of our deep, deep appreciation for all the service that you've given to the country, a token of the memory of this night in your heart, and a sense of our thanks and appreciation for again gracing our presence. Thank you, Justice Hunt.